Hello, folks. So I'm going after a comet tonight, and the name of the comet is Iwamoto. I'm, I'm sure I didn't say that right. But uh, one of my friends told me about it. I wasn't aware of it, so I thought, well, I, I might have a couple hours of clear skies tonight, so why not try a comet? And what I did to find it, now I already tracked it, and I knew it was going to be high in the sky around midnight, so... And I'm on the skylive.com site, so what I did is I just took uh, these coordinates for the RA. Uh, these are our real-time coordinates. I took the RA coordinates and the declination coordinates, and I plugged them into the SGP Framing and Mosaic Wizard uh, in this spot here. I plugged those coordinates into there, and it pulled up this screen here and I just put this box right dead center and uh, let's see oops and it, it, it put the comet dead center for me it's really cool you know it's been a while since I've done a comet and there it is right there and about I don't know maybe a half hour ago it was over here so I'm going to try and animate it I'm just going to use L Pro data no color tonight I just want to animate something it'll be fun so we'll see how this goes and I'll be back and right now my guiding let's take a look at that anyway I don't think it's that great tonight let's see here point Nine nine, eh, that's fine. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I've I've got fifty seven good frames, and uh, I was battling a lot of haze, and I even kept a lot of frames that had haze because I I wanted a smooth animation. And this is what one raw image looks like, and this is just a calibrated and aligned image. Uh, frame number three and after I ran an automatic background extraction and histogram on it that's what it looked like on the right so I had to do this manually for each frame but once I ran the histogram and made it nonlinear then I could actually just update all of them in batch mode for the final processing and let me show you um, if you haven't seen that before how I, I did that So let's just take one nonlinear image. We'll just take uh, that one. And let's do a few things to it. For example, uh, let's say we want to uh, let's crop it because uh, clean up those edges. And now I want to keep a, a small file size because animations tend to be big. So let's just resample it. So I've already got it down to 30% here. It was 100 before. So let's resample the size. Yeah, let's just play with this real quick to so make it a little darker. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, what am I doing here? How's that? Whoops. Let's try and denoise it really quick. Yeah, maybe that's too much, but it don't matter. Let's just go with it. And, okay, so we've got that. 
Now, everything I just did, I want to apply to all of them. I don't want to do this manually for each one. That would take too long. So let's shrink that. And let's go here. What is this? Which image was this? This is frame three on the ABE. That one. So this is everything we just did to it. We did a crop. We did a resample. We did curves transformation. And we did some denoids on it. Now let's try this. Uh, go to my process container. Oops, so that's from before. Let me delete all that. Okay, now my process container is empty. Now let's go back to that history. Oops, so that's, we did a crop. A resample. Curves. Some denoise. So this is everything we want to do to all of our subs. So now let's pull up. I'm going to wait to click on the background to pull up <coughs> excuse me, image container. And let's add all of our nonlinear data to it. Okay, let's specify an output directory. I'll call it, uh, let's see, call it process 10. And I'm going to give it a .jpg extension because I want to align these with pip uh, jpeg, just like that. And now I want to execute all of these commands on this. Now this is the weird part. I'm going to have to actually drag this image container to the background. So that's all of the data I have. Now I'm going to just drag this on top of that and we can watch it go. Let's see if it's actually working here. Let's go to uh, where it is this. There they are. And you can see the, the files being created. I'm not an expert processing comments, so I just wanted to catch some movement. I don't, I don't, I don't care. This is not going to be perfect. Still going? Oh, you can see I've got 48. All right, let's see. There's the first one. Let's go to the next. Hey, so I'm scrolling through all the pictures and there's our animation. Cool. All right. Now let's pull up Pip. Hang on, let me find where that is. Okay, this is a uh, Pip. Now I'm going to add my images. Let's see from process 10. Highlight them. Click on animation options. Let's see. Uh, I didn't change anything there. Animated. About, now I'm on output options. Let's click on animated GIF. Let's set that at 24. Do processing start. Let's see if it works. Hey! You can see I've got haze going on from frame to frame. It was not a great night out there, so. But that's only about 
I think 55, a 55 minute time frame, you can see how fast this comet was moving. This thing is going fast. It's speedy. But that's it. That was a quick hack to show the animation and how the comet moves. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.